2018, Elon Musk sent a tweet saying he will take Tesla private funding secured. Shares of Tesla shot up, increasing in value immediately and, of course, crashed shortly after. Elon's tweet have influenced stocks and even crypto in the past. However, no investor should determine what to buy or sell according to someone's tweet or other social media posts. And it is human nature not to take responsibility for one's actions, seeking to blame someone else to make us feel better. Of course, the financial media acted upon these tweets, making Elon responsible for investors' action. Finance and social media claimed that Elon Musk had committed security fraud and manipulated the stock price. Even Elon said on his TED talk that funding indeed was secured. I was in a precarious financial situation and I was told by the banks that if I did not agree to, to settle with the SEC that they would, the banks would cease providing working capital and Tesla would go bankrupt immediately. So that's like having a gun to your child's head. Uh, so I was forced to concede to the SEC unlawfully, those bastards. Um, <laughs> And, and, and now they, 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 uh, it, it makes it look like I lied when I did not in fact lie. I was, I was forced to admit that I lied for, to save Tesla's life. So anyway, last week Elon was found not liable in the trial over these tweets. Some weeks back, Elon was trying to move the trial to Texas in fear of not being judged fairly. However, the San Francisco jury rejected the investor's claim. So why was it so important that Elon got out of this situation? Um, it's really important because, um, think about it. Now, if Elon would have been responsible for somebody's loss in, in share price and asset prices, then um, what would be next? Every time you lose money in the stock market because you are investing in the wrong security, you are um, able to sue the company and get your money back. But where would that go eventually? That would go that companies are not gonna be able to grow anymore. There's no more innovation and there's no more growth for anything. And nobody is gonna wanna trade their companies publicly anymore. So it was really important that he won this case. Um, just imagine, uh, you know, people that go to McDonald's every day, they eat crap food every day and they turn out obese and now they want to sue McDonald's for being obese. No, it, it's your decision. You have to take responsibility for your own actions. So it was really important that this happened. As the tweet said, considering taking Tesla private at $420 funding secured, Elon Musk was serving both as Tesla chairman and CEO and he had to let go of his chairman position, uh, and that's why he's only the CEO. Now, the tweet was posted August 7th, 2018. Elon Musk paid $20 million in 2018 to the SEC, and that's why um, it made him appear guilty. If the same investors would have held on to their, to their um, shares and ignored these tweets, they would have increased their investment 700%. The Saudi Arabia Sovereign Wealth Fund, a public invested fund, was prepared to take the company private. At this point, the damage was already done. And while media companies are looking for views and advertisers, they simply do not care about someone's reputation. This is the reason why people settle outside the court, even if not guilty. And before I continue, I would like to add this. At the time of this recording, Tesla is up over $91 um, this year, which today is uh, February 3rd. And um, I might add in January, early January, Tesla was at a $101 low. So um, today it was $192 per share in after hours. It's amazing. Despite of what some people said, Tesla will be at $60 or even $23 at this time. It looks like um, this is not the case. I'm glad that Elon Musk and Tesla have many loyal followers that have an understanding about the situation. I'm happy for Elon that this weight has been lifted off his chest. And as he stated in his tweet, thank goodness, the wisdom of the people has prevailed. I'm deeply appreciated of the jury and uh, anonymous finding of innocence in a Tesla 420 take private case. 
And now Elon expresses his dislike for the SEC and we have to we saw why in this video. Do you believe Elon should keep quiet about his dislikes of the SEC? I wonder if the SEC gives him a little bit harder time because he really mentions them a lot and he um, he dislikes the SEC. He says it like publicly and I appreciate somebody's honesty like that. But I wonder if um, he should just keep quiet just because there's so much at stake. Um, what is your opinion? Should he keep quiet about the SEC? I'm just wondering. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.